Hey, what's up guys? Nick with Valix Training Group and today I wanted to go over some belt setups for you guys. So you're gonna sign up for a class, say it's a, a carbine slash pistol class, what belt setup should you bring? I think there's a lot of confusion on this because honestly, the market on belts and holsters and mag uh, you know, setups are super, super flooded. Um, there's so many choices. It's kind of hard to tell like, uh, you know, what to buy, right? Because there's so many out there. So let me kind of go over my, um, belt setup here. This is an AWS ink belt. Um, it's an inner belt and outer belt. And as you can see, the inside of this has Velcro on it. Um, why does it have Velcro? Because it corresponds with the inner belt um, that would come with it, right? So you would put this inner belt on, you would put this on over it, and then because it has Velcro, um, this isn't gonna move around on your waist at all. Um, <clears throat> let's start off with the holster setup. So this is a Safari Land UBL, okay? I've got another one right here. Um, why I choose the UBL over a lot of the different hangers? Well, if you're gonna shoot a couple different pistols, it makes sense to uh, magnet stuck. It makes sense to have that Safari Land UBL because you can essentially take the holster on and off, right? So if you have that uh, Safari Land fork, that corresponds with the UBL, and it just basically slaps right on the UBL, and uh, you could switch guns out pretty quickly. Um, moving over here to the mag pouches these are safari land uh let's see i know people are gonna ask let's see this is a 773 um and it is on uh let's see these safari land clips i forgot what these things are called but anyway <laughs> these are on amazon so um it's safari land clip and it basically corresponds to that uh, mag carrier um these mag carriers are pretty freaking handy because there's a lot of adjustment in them, right? Today I'm uh, running a Walther PDP, but like tomorrow if I'm going to run a Glock, I can pop this holster off, put a Glock in there, loosen these up, and then Glock mags will fit in uh, these mag pouches here. Um, moving back, we've got a T-Rex Arms uh, Mars carrier for my rifle setup. Okay, cool thing about this is it's on what's called a tech lock, right? So this tech lock essentially opens up, you close it up, pop it on your belt, and uh, and it's good to go. One thing that I like to do with these so they don't slide around is I take a piece of Velcro and stick it to that tech lock, right? If you stick it to that tech lock, it'll correspond with the Velcro on the inner belt, and, uh, and it's not gonna move around at all. So that's my rifle carrier setup. Uh, moving back off of that, we've got a Lunar Concepts dump pouch. Uh, the cool thing about this dump pouch is it rolls up and it's super tiny, right? Um, I use dump pouches a lot when I'm teaching classes because I can stick, you know, dummy rounds in there. I can throw my shot timer in there, peanuts, Skittles, whatever uh, you guys want to put inside your dump pouch. Uh, this will fit it. And a cool thing, another cool thing about this is it kind of has a uh, somewhat of a closed top so anything you put in this thing isn't gonna you know take a yard sale if you go running across the range or whatever um, moving over here we've got a tourniquet carrier kind of self-explanatory right i also have that on a tech lock okay all this does is carry a tourniquet if you guys are going to be at a class and shooting guns i would highly encourage you to carry some sort of medical and i would say tourniquet at the very least and I think it's rather presumptuous to be out shooting guns and uh, to think that, you know, uh, we're never going to put a hole in ourselves or in someone else. So I would highly recommend carrying some sort of medical. Again, that's a tourniquet um, Gen 7. Also, um, when you guys buy a tourniquet, make sure it is a real uh, Gen 7 cat tourniquet, right? If you're going to buy the cat, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of Chinese knockoffs with these uh, Gen 7 cats out there on the market. If it is like 10 bucks, it's probably a knockoff, probably too good to be true, um, and I wouldn't trust my life with it. Also, I would recommend getting the orange ones. Why orange, right? Why wouldn't we want black or uh, you know some kind of tactical color? Um, if I need this, I want someone to see it right now, right? I, I don't want people having to search around on me for a tourniquet. I want this thing to stand out and uh, I want people to be able to see it. 
Um, I like to have it on my back here. I feel like um, with it on my back, it's readily available pretty much at all times. Um, <clears throat> so that's my AWS. You don't have to get an AWS belt. Uh, this belt right here is an RDR gear, all right? Love this belt right here. This one works just the same. It's pretty similar, I'll be honest with you guys. There's not a whole lot of differences um, in this AWS and this RDR gear belt. Um, one thing that I do like about the RDR gear belt is this inner piece, instead of folding over the outside, folds on the inside. And the neat thing about that is it traps this Safari Land UBL, and this thing isn't gonna go, <coughs> excuse me, this thing isn't gonna go, you know, sliding around um, if we take off running or, you know, doing whatever you're doing on the range. So, uh, pistol mag carriers, same uh, same thing that was on the other belt, uh, Safari Land setup. <clears throat> Moving back here, uh, if you're gonna shoot a bunch of different rifle setups, right? If you're gonna shoot, you know, ARs, AKs, I would recommend getting something like these HSGI tacos, right? These HSGI tacos are great because they will fit pretty much uh, everything uh, as far as mags go. So if you're gonna be running an AR one day and then say maybe an AK the next day, HSGI mags, uh, definitely the way to go. Um, one thing that I skipped on this belt um, is just a magnet, right? This magnet is super handy. Um, if you're gonna have several different pistol mags on you, uh, you know, you're in a class or whatever, you can easily just take an extra pistol mag, stick it to that magnet, and then you can load off of that and not have empty pouches. So typically what I do, if I'm taking a class or demoing at a class, um, so I don't have to keep going back and getting ammo, um, I'll take three mags up to the line. So these pouches will be full and I'll load uh, the gun off of that magnet, right? So I could demo or I could take the class, whatever I'm doing at a class. Um, that first mag is, uh, is gonna come off that magnet. So, um, so a little bit different setup here. This is more along the lines of USPSA, right? This is a CR speed belt and this has CR speed mag pouches. Um, this is definitely along the lines of a gamer setup. Now, um, could you take a rifle class with this setup? Absolutely, 100%. You could stick a, a, a rifle pouch, you know, just kind of like this, uh, this T-Rex Mars carrier. You could take that Mars carrier off of that belt, stick it on this belt, and this thing is gonna work exactly the same. Um, at the end of the day, it's just a belt and it pretty much does everything that these other two belts have. Um, the holster setup is a QBO tactical. This is for my Q5, Walther Q5 holster. And it's on a uh, boss hanger. So you can find these boss hangers at uh, Ben Steger Pro Shop. Neat thing about these boss hangers, there's a lot of adjustability on the back, okay? So you can adjust this holster to the cant, the exact cant that you want. So um, again, uh, along the gamer lines here, this is the, the setup that I use for USPSA. But honestly, guys, if you're just gonna go take like a you know, fundamentals pistol class, this would be great. Um, if you're gonna take a rifle class, uh, rifle slash pistol, again, you could slap a mag carrier on there and be good to go. So that's kind of what I got on belt setups. Uh, again, Nick at Velox Training Group, if you guys have any questions, shoot me uh, some questions in the comments. Website is www.veloxtraininggroup.com. You can get on there and see my training schedule where I'm gonna be throughout the year.